It's time for the Daily Stand-Up Podcast presented by Agile Dad with your host, Lee Henson. Without any further ado, let's get started. I was lucky enough to receive another email from my dear friend, Mike Cohn, and I love receiving his email. So thank you, Mike, for continuing to send those. And this one talks about attend, but don't participate unless you're on the team. And I'm hunching that this has to do with meetings, but uh, he starts off his email with, I'm listening. That phrase is on my mind because the TV character Frasier Crane has returned to television. Portrayed by Kelsey Grammer in the shows Frasier and Cheers, Frasier Crane dispensed psychiatric advice on his popular radio show. Now, admittedly, I wasn't a fan of Frasier or Cheers. I don't know. I just, I guess for me, I just didn't spend a lot of time watching TV is what it boils down to, right? I didn't spend a lot of time watching television shows and I was just always so busy, especially in that, that portion of my life during those years. Uh, he goes on to say, as each new caller joined the show, Frazier would use his catchphrase, I'm listening. If you attend a team's daily scrum meeting and you're not a member of that team, consider following Frazier's advice. Listen. Now, this is interesting because uh, one of the classes I taught recently, it was an advanced certified Scrum Master class. I had some participants that were talking with me and we we're talking about this very topic. We we're talking about who's invited to the daily scrum, who should attend, and who should participate. And uh, the question came up, you know, should the product owner be there? And my answer, of course, was yes. They said, should the rest of the team, you know, the, the periphery team be there? And this was where things got interesting. I started thinking about it, and I said, of course they should be there. Now, there's a difference between who gets inserted into the circle of trust that has an opportunity to talk about things and be part of the discussion, and people who are there as an attentive listener. And we're talking about participants versus visitors. And one of my rules that I have, whether it be remote or whether it be in person, is that visitors are asked to follow all the same intentions and rules as the people who are in the meeting. So if the people who are in the meeting stand, the visitors stand. If the people who are in the meeting are not allowed to bring electronics, the people who are visiting are also not allowed to bring electronics. This just shows the team that you're holding everyone to the same accountability standard to welcome them to be part of the meeting, but it doesn't necessarily mean they're an active participant. So so let's see where he goes with this. Your team probably welcomes your attendance. This is true. But unless you're actively working on the sprint backlog items, you should not be participating. Amen, brother. As an attendee, listen silently. And I love this next line. Unless the team solicits your opinion or has a question. There have been so many times where I've been in a meeting and a team would ask someone a question. And that person would go, you know, with their lips tightly sealed, pointing with the, you know, their lips are zipped. They're not allowed to speak in the meeting. It would have been just as easy for that person to answer the question in 30 seconds or less uh, and, and, you know, go do away with another meeting. Uh, but instead, this person decided to actively mock the rules of the stand up and say, hey, I'm not allowed to talk. That drives me crazy. I think that if you are in a daily scrum, you need to honor the rules, as I said, but also you need to live by the spirit of the law and not the letter of the law. So if someone asks you a question, hey, did you get that memo I sent? Did you get that email or did you get that text or, you know, um, do you have an opinion? Right. As long as you're adhering to 30 seconds or less per person rule, I don't mind if someone from the outside chimes in. As long as every single person isn't asking two or three people to chime in, I want to keep the meeting boundary set still to the you know 30 seconds per person, not to exceed 15 minutes. The majority of my scrums are pretty quick. Uh, daily scrums are usually somewhere in that six to eight minute range. And uh, sometimes they go longer. Sometimes they go to whole 15, but usually they're pretty short. So. Daily scrums exist so that team members can synchronize their efforts. Uh, These meetings enable team members to be sure that the most important tasks are being worked on and to know that two people are not working on the same thing and to emphasize their commitment to achieving the sprint goal. And I want to focus on that last one. I think a lot of time people forget 
that this daily scrum meeting is about accountability and about working towards committing to and achieving a sprint goal. There are too many people who try to divert the attention to other things, or they don't focus on a sprint goal, or they don't talk about those things. They, we don't talk about Bruno. But I think sometimes we need to regain our focus. So when outsiders go beyond just attending and they start to participate, here are some problems that could arise. Team members might start holding back information because they don't want to be questioned by the outsiders that are in the room. Uh, team members feel less ownership of issues and may wait for other people to try to solve problems for them. So you could potentially, as an outsider, be enabling the team instead of empowering the team. And that makes things interesting. You want to make sure no matter what, the team feels empowered and not enabled. They shouldn't just be sitting back and waiting for someone else to solve their problems. And of course, morale suffers because team members don't feel like they're trusted because they feel like all these other people have to, you know, butt into their business and see what's going on. So team members end up not feeling trusted. So if you attend a daily scrum, but you're not part of the team, you may want to either stop attending altogether or, you know, you may want to hold back a little bit. I, I think the thing to keep in mind here is that you can always ask the team to notify you about anything that they need your help with. As long as you're quick with your turnaround, you know, that should be enough. But if you can't go as far as no longer attending, perhaps start each meeting as Frazier Crane would by saying, or at least thinking to yourself, I am here to listen. I'm listening, right? Listening and letting teams run their own daily scrums without even well-intended outside participation is going to help your teams really accelerate agile adoption and see success because they are all working together towards a common goal. So there you have it. Now, Mike also encouraged me to check out the new Frasier TV show. I might do that just so I can check it out and say, hey, now I get it and I know where this is coming from. That's going to do it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have a topic you want us to discuss, please, please, please feel free to reach out to us. Learn more at AgileDad.com. We would love to hear from you. And as always, we encourage you to stay healthy, stay well, and stay agile, my friends. Until next time, do take care.